Okay, this is the fundamental stuff for algebra. We start with adding and subtracting expressions. The tip here is to add or subtract like terms. One example question. Identify the like terms first. So the like ones are the ones with the x squareds. So the like terms there are both of those. When we add the two of those, that will give us 8x squared. That'll be the first term. The second like term are the terms with uh, just the numbers. So plus 8 minus 7 gives me plus 1. And the third pair of like terms are the things with the x in it. And if I have minus 4x and plus 4x, I'll have no x's. So that means I'm just going to leave out the x's. So again, we add and subtract the like terms. 5x squared and 8x squared. When we add those, it gives me 8x squared. We have no x's. And 8 minus 7 is plus 1. That should actually say adding and subtracting expressions at the top, by the way. Okay, you should be able to do that question. Now, I'm going to keep going. Multiplying expressions. Okay, um, when you're asked to multiply something out, it will say simplify the following. So when you're multiplying this, you have to multiply the outside term by the first one and the outside term by the second one. So remember when you multiply, you multiply the signs the numbers and then the letters so s n l so the first term there look by 5 we have or by plus 5 plus by plus is plus 5 by 3 would be 15 so 5 by 3x would be plus 15x that's the first one you'll see that in a moment when you multiply plus 5 by plus 2y plus by plus is a plus 5 by 2 would be 10 so 5 by 2y would be plus 10y so we should have 15x plus 10y now you should be able to do those questions. Look, pause the video if you need to um, to write them down or try them. But I would actually try them before moving on to the next variety. <clears throat> okay, we have two terms in the first bracket, two terms in the second bracket. We're asked to simplify them, which for me means write them along one straight line without any multiplication between the brackets. Now we're going to multiply those out. How do we do it? We multiply the first term by the first term the first term by the second term, and then the second term by the first, and the second term by the second. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start with the first by the first, 2x by 3x. Plus by plus is plus, 3 by 2 is 6, x by x is x squared. So we'll have a plus 6x squared to start with. Then the first by the second, so that's 2x by plus 2y, plus by plus is plus, Two twos of four and x by y is just xy. So we'd have plus four xy. Now we need to multiply the minus y by the three x. Minus by plus is a minus. There's a hidden one in front of the y. One by three is three and x by y is xy. So we'll have minus three xy. And then minus y by plus two y. Minus by plus is a minus. One by two is two and y by y is y squared. So we end up with that. Okay, um, I should have said there before I displayed the second line, what we now have to do after the multiplication is the addition and subtraction stage, and we add and subtract the like terms. And you'll notice there from the line 3x squared plus 4xy minus 3xy minus 2y squared, the middle two terms are like terms because they both have xy in them. So I have four plus 4xy and I have minus 3xy, if I have four of them and I'm subtracting three, I'm left with one xy, which is why the middle term in the bottom line is plus one xy. Okay, now you can try those and there'll be a second video in a moment.